Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you all my recipe for this jeera pork pow. This was inspired by watching the Angostura Bitter Rivals competition and they had this at that competition. So I wanted to make my version for you. So to my bowl of chopped pork meat, I'm adding in salt and black pepper to taste. Now you can use minced pork or you can chop up the pork really small. I'm going in with some finely chopped onions, some pimento peppers, finely chopped, scallions chopped, garlic and green seasoning. Mix properly so that all of those seasonings are evenly distributed. Next, I'm going in with some all-purpose seasoning and mix that in. Cover and set aside. To my pot, I'm going in with some chili-infused coconut oil from CGA Limited. I'm going in with some methi and some cumin seeds or jira seeds. We're going to toast this until it turns a dark brown color. Once it gets brown, go in with that seasoned and marinated pork meat. I left mine to marinate for about 15 minutes. The longer you leave it, the better. Next, coat the pork in those spices and allow it to cook until all of the liquid has evaporated. Now go in with some additional water to help it cook and cook until the pork is tender and the sauce has reduced. Next go in with some jeera powder or roasted cumin powder and mix that in. You just want to cook this for a couple of minutes until that sauce thickens up and the cur that sorry that jeera adheres itself to the pork and it's really sticky. You don't want this to be too watery or too runny. So you see this is the consistency it should be. So once it's there, you want to take this off and set it aside, allow it to cool down. It has to cool down completely. Next, let's work on the dough for this. So to my flour, I'm going in with some yeast and some baking soda. Mix. Drizzle in a little bit of vegetable or canola oil. And go in with enough warm milk to bring this mixture together so that it forms a soft dough. I'm using my dough hook for this. Once the mixture comes together, you'll need to go in with your hands and knead this until it's very smooth. Once it's smooth, you're going to add a little bit of oil to the surface of the dough so that it does not form a skin. Cover and store it in a warm place. I suggest putting a cup of hot water in your oven together with this and it would proof faster. Once it has rested, we're going to go ahead and make our dough balls. Now you want to make these as small as possible because we want to be able to roll this out as thinly as possible. You don't want a thick heavy pow. If you were to break the dough balls too big, then the pow is going to be thick or it's going to be humongous because you'll have to roll it out as thin as possible. So make sure and roll out the ends especially as thin as possible. Next, you put your filling into that dough and you want to put like about a tablespoon or so of the filling and then bring all ends together to seal. We're 
You want to seal it properly and then place it into your steamer basket. Now I've greased my steamer basket. Or you can place some lettuce leaves or some cabbage leaves. Next, cover your basket and place it over a pot of boiling water. Make sure and put enough water in there because the water tends to evaporate quickly. We're going to leave that to cook for about 30 to 40 minutes. And the pows are finished. You see how they have puffed up? That's how you want them to look. That's how they will look. They would expand and get puffy. So you want to put like, as I put four in a basket, you don't want to overcrowd the basket. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. It was really delicious and I absolutely loved it. So if you guys give this recipe a try, let me know down below what you think. If you have any recommendations for future videos, please leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.